Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin on your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide you. Soup du jour, hot butters, how we only live to serve. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, miss, this is France. And a dinner here is never second best. Go on, unfold your menu, take a glance, and then you'll be our guest. Be our guest, be our guest. Beef ragu, cheese souffle, pie and pudding on flambe. We'll prepare and serve with flair a culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared, but the banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flatware's entertaining. Top jokes, I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. It's it's all in perfect taste that you can bet. Come on and lift your glass, you want your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's fine dining, we suggest. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Life is so unnerving for a servant who is not serving. He's not whole without a soul to wait upon. Ah, those good old days when we were useful. Suddenly, those good old days are gone. Sixteen years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting, needing exercise, a chance to use our skills. Most days we just lay around the castle. Flappy, fat, and lazy, you walked in in whoopsie daisy. It's a guest, it's a guest, it's a so mine, and we'll be blessed with wines and poured and thank the Lord I've had the napkins freshly pressed. With dessert for show on tea, my beer is fine with me. All the cups to their soft shoe, and I'll be bowling, I'll be brewing. I'll get one, piping hot, heaven's sake, is that a spot? Clean it up, we want the company in play. Our MC was born and raised in Indianapolis where her 25 year radio career began. She has been heard in multiple cities across the United States, including Chicago, Cincinnati, Dallas, Nashville, San Antonio, San Francisco, and more. On the air now at 104.5 WJJK in Indianapolis and 92.5 The Fox in Cincinnati. Laura is also an Indy 500 contributor for Wish TV and a reporter for Pet Pals TV. Laura was recently named Nouveau Magazine's Best Radio Personality in Indianapolis, voted on by listeners in her hometown. Please help, help me give a warm welcome to Laura Steele. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. It is truly an honor to be here with you for the 16th annual Campus Superstar final show. How exciting is this? 
a little bit different this year, but we got this. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome. You are in for a treat. Now, you know we've got an incredibly skilled lineup of singers and judges tonight. If you've joined us in the past, welcome back. We think you'll enjoy this broadcast as much, maybe even more than if we were all together, or maybe not. Well, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the fact that we are not together for the first time in 16 years of production. Can you believe that? Now, I've been with Campus Superstar for many years, and I have watched behind the scenes and what happens on stage. I know it takes so much time, so much effort to make this show happen. So I'd like to take an opportunity to give a special thank you to Hillel, Indiana Hillel Development Manager, Alana Huvar, also Director of Engagement, Mason Greenberg, for co-producing this show. And most importantly, I would especially like to give a huge thank you to everybody's friend, our esteemed producer of Campus Superstar, Troy T. Thomas Jr. And a thank you to Dan Lakin and Ian Scott for their time towards making this show all that it has come to be, as well as the students involved with the production team. While we wish we could be in person with you, Hillel takes pride in making the best out of even the most challenging of circumstances. We hope this show can bring some light into the world during this very difficult time as our heart goes out to those who are suffering from this pandemic. But well, we're turning lemons into lemonade, and we proudly present to you the 16th annual Campus Superstar final show here on live broadcast. I'm gonna let you in on how this works, and then we will get to our performances. You're gonna see three contestants perform their numbers, and the judges will give their feedback immediately following after their performances. Now, there's gonna be three rounds of this, showcasing our nine contestants. And in the middle of the show, we're gonna pause. We're gonna see a special video prepared by IU Hillel alumni. After we've heard the last contestant sing, we'll announce the top five contestants. This is where you, the audience, will come in. Over the next three days until Wednesday, May 20th at 11.59 p.m., you, that's you, our viewers will be able to cast your vote. It's $10 a vote for your choice of the top contestant. Again, campussuperstar2020.com is our website. That's campussuperstar2020.com. On the site, you'll see that your involvement as an audience member will not only impact the contestants' lives, but most importantly, will support the vibrancy of Jewish student life at Indiana University. We have not only had voting available on our site, but you'll also see something super cool. You know, a big part of Campus Superstar is our live auction. So we've got everything from a private tour through the Simon Scott Auditorium Hall for 10 people, ending with shooting hoops to an autographed script of National Lampoon's Animal House available for bidding online and a lot in between, so make sure you check that out. We would love for you to participate by voting for your favorite contestant and check out all of the exciting auction items. But now, it's time to get to the fun. These nine finalists were selected from three auditions held in Bloomington and made it through our semi-final competition. Each contestant will have two minutes to give their best performances and earn their chance to move on to the top five contestants. From the top five, our winner will be selected based on your votes and our judges. Speaking of which, we'd like to introduce you to our panel of judges. These judges will have the responsibility, and a tough one it is, of narrowing our nine finalists down to five. And with your help and your votes, we will select our top prize winner for Campus Superstar 2020. To vote, please visit campussuperstar2020.com. The winner of the $5,000 grand prize will be crowned Campus Superstar 2020 right here on Sunday, May 24th. And new this year, our winner will be given an opportunity to perform on JLTV Network. Let me tell you briefly about our judges. They're all so wonderful, and you can find their complete bios if you'd like to learn more at campussuperstar2020.com. Up first is the beautiful and very talented Jen Christie. Jen's professional experience began with recording and touring as a vocalist and a multi-instrumentalist with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, 
John Mellencamp. While on tour, she appeared on the Today Show, David Letterman, Good Morning America, Larry King Live, and other national programs, as well as performing at Madison Square Garden for the concert for New York City. In 2015, Jen launched an entertainment company called One Pulse Entertainment, based in Bloomington. Now that provides class talent to theaters across the nation. A few star performers in One Plus Productions were actually discovered on our stage during Campus Superstar from previous years. Please welcome Jen Christie. Thank you, Ayu Halal, for having me back this year to judge. Tonight's second judge is Stephen Stolen. Indianapolis knows Stephen Stolen well for his enduring community presence as a singing artist, a popular radio show host, a social justice advocate, and an expertise in nonprofit management and community leadership. His professional singing career has taken him from coast to coast with orchestras all over North America. His national presence is also noted in over 30 recording projects as an artist with the world's largest publishing company, Hal Leonard in central Indiana and beyond, he is also well known for the popular radio program, Stolen Moments, heard on NPR WFYI 90.1 FM. 2018 marked Stephen Stolen's 25th year as a weekly program host with WFYI. He and his family were central in the crusade for marriage equality as plaintiffs in the successful legal action that ultimately changed Indiana law and currently is a part of a leadership team and task force to open Indiana's first transitional housing facility for LGBTQ youth who are no longer welcome in their homes. Please put your virtual hands together for Campus Superstar's semi-final judge, Stephen Stolen. It's an honor to return as a judge for this year's IU Hillel Campus Superstar final competition. Our third judge is Michael Black. Michael is a New York City-based director and actor and theater educator. As a director, Michael has worked in Bergen, Norway, where he directed a Norwegian translation of The Sound of Music. Michael produced and directed Hello Again Off-Broadway, The Producers Club, and all kinds of people which toured NYC schools this past winter. Other directing credits include the 25th annual Putman County Spelling Bee and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels for Actors Theater of Indiana, Curtains for, by Jupiter for the Village Light Opera Company, and Stage Door Manor Performing Arts Training Center. Michael directed Prom Queen the Musical, Guys and Dolls, Meet Me in St. Louis, Rent, and On the Town, and he directed the world premiere of a new play where a certain future by James Howard Carr at Northern Michigan University. Michael is a recipient of the 2016 Outstanding Director Award for his work at Wimberley at the Midtown International Theater Festival. And he is a member of the Playwriting and Directing Workshop at the Actors Studio. Michael is currently an adjunct professor at the American Music and Dramatic Academy in NYC, directing teaching in the acting department. As an actor, Michael has toured Europe in the European tour of Hair, performed at the Kennedy Center Gala with Elaine Stritch and Marvin Hamlish. Let's hear some virtual claps from our home audience for Michael Black. Hello, everyone. Our final judge this evening is David Galpern. David is an award-winning producer who's created and conceived and produced over 100 shows. His work includes acclaimed Broadway-scale musicals, immersive theater groundbreaking experiences, and building the largest company making theater for teens in the world. Until COVID-19, he had productions running in New York, Las Vegas, and on tour. That is super cool. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a nice warm welcome to David. Really excited to be here. Thank you. And a huge 
thank you to our distinguished panel of judges from the comfort of your homes. Let's give them a big round of applause. The judges will be looking at four main components, musical, talent, stage present, song choice, and overall performance. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's watch our first three contestants. Hello, my name is Tyrese Taylor. I am from Bradenton, Florida, and I am a graduate student at Indiana University. Today, I have the delight of singing Never Enough from The Greatest Showman. majoring in human biology and minoring in music. Today, I will be singing Don't Rail My Parade from Funny Girl. Don't tell me not to live just in hell. Life's candy and the sun's a bowl. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly. Told you you're allowed to rain on my parade. I'll march my band down. I'll beat my drum. And if I'm fed down, you'll turn it back, sir. At least I didn't fake it, hat, sir. I guess I didn't make it, but whether I'm the rose, I share perfection. A freckle on the nose of life's complexion. The cinder or the shiny. Mr. Ornstein, 
Hi, my name is Courtney Crowder and I'm from Carmel, Indiana. I'm a junior at IU and I will be singing All I Want from High School Musical, The Musical, The Series. Cause the second I figure it out, he pushes me away. And I won't fight for love if you won't meet me halfway. And I say, But shouldn't that be enough for me? Ooh. And I miss the day when I was young and naive. I thought the perfect guy would come and find me. Now happy ever after. And all I want is for that to be okay. Welcome back to Campus Superstar 2020, and thanks for hanging out with us during this commercial break. Wardrobe change, or you want me to visit CampusSuperstar2020.com. Why? Because we have some super cool silent auction items, including that tour of Simon Scott Assembly Hall in Bloomington, and you could even play hoops on the board. How about a safari? How about a thousand dollar Simon Mall gift card? Bid on many one of a kind items for family, for friends, for help, maybe even yourself. Just text CSS. 2020 to 76278. That's CSS 2020 to 76278 to see all these amazing items. All the proceeds of Campus Superstar for support the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center, which is dedicated to building a strong Jewish community on IU's campus and developing tomorrow's leaders. Another essential piece of their mission is to work with partners at Indiana University, their partners, and the city of Bloomington to promote diversity and understanding throughout the community. We are pleased to partner with City Church for All Nations and JLTV in production of our final show. And now, let's get back to the show. Tyrese, thank you for that. A few things I really, really liked. Uh, I love that you did an intro of yourself. You you set yourself up and then you, you actually really gave us a real performance and you look great. Uh, so all of that stuff is really good. Uh, there's a vulnerable kind of, um, what I write down, I wrote it down here, uh, a kind of uh, intimate vulnerability in your voice that I really like and that worked great at the beginning. It's a hard song because you don't get to start and really kind of sing. And, and I thought you shaped that, picked that first section of the song really, really well. A couple little pitch things when you get into the never, never, never uh, business. And that's a hard thing to do because um, it almost needs a live performance. And of course it needs a live performance. I think also in this number, um, probably the recording did not show the arc of the song. 
um, as much as you probably gave it vocally. That just might be a production issue or what, but this is a song that needs that kind of arc. And then uh, the high stuff at the end uh, is a really nice touch. I, I would love for you to set that up more, but all in all, that was a really, really nice performance and I thought really stylishly done. Hey Tyrese, um, amazing job. That was really, really, really great. Um, I loved your song choice. I love that song, super inspiring. And I love how you filmed it. It was beautiful and you looked beautiful. And I even like the little wind that blew through your hair at one point, uh, super dramatic. And I think that was a really uh, great job. So keep going with that. Keep going with connecting with the thought and sharing your material and let that come through your voice as you share your material and share share what you're talking about. Um, excellent job. Okay, that is the best I've heard uh, Aaliyah do. I've watched her for years um, and uh, she just knocked that out of the park. My, I, Barbara Streisand, uh, she's, a, she's one of the classic ones, um, but that is a big song, hard song to sing. And um, Aaliyah, you just killed it. That was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> that's a scary song. You just did a fantastic job. Um, well done, very well done. Uh, Aaliyah, what a performance. Uh, it was fun to see you just walk out there and own it. Just go out there like a big stick of butter and just perform it and nail it in front of that camera and do a great job. And uh, It's a fun song. It was a fun performance. Um, you know, you were giving it your best and uh, it was really lovely to see that in, that in that performance there. I'd like to see you be more of you though when you're performing. Um, in a song like that, it's really easy to try and perform, you know, like you've seen it done. And I want to see you in all of that. I want to see you come through when you're performing those songs. I want to really see who you are because that, because you're interesting and I want to see it. Courtney, that was a real performance. Um, I felt like you were singing to me. And that's, uh, um, as a singer, when anybody says that to you, uh, when someone has said that to me in my life, um, it, it's very special. I feel like you sang that song to me, even though, again, this is a very kind of artificial sort of way of doing this. It was a really sincere, committed performance. And um, I, I liked it very, very much. Um, Recording. This is just an element of, of what we're dealing with here. When you wear black and the background is black, um, it, we don't get the same kind of sense of, of who you are as a whole person. So that's just something there. You have a very engaging kind of comfort in looking right at me, right at us. Um, I love the way you come in and out and you pull away from your voice. It's very, very pretty when you come away from that sort of middle mezzo forte stuff and you come away and you kind of come back to a very soft, almost spoken, spoken on tone kind of things. Um, maybe certainly one of the best performances that we're seeing. So I wish you well. I, I'm very interested. I so wish we could be in the room with you so I could, we could know more about you, but you have a lot to say as a singer, as a singer. And that is, um, not unimportant, excuse the double negative. Good luck to you. Nice, nice. Um, wow, Courtney, that was really lovely. Um, you've got a really nice voice. Um, you picked the song really well for yourself. It's right right in the pocket for you. Um, you're beautiful, expressive. Um, could see those emotions coming up. I'm really impressed with your work here, and you know, I, I I thought it was an exceptional performance. Can you believe the talent that these students have? You know, they are the reason why the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center exists. IU Hillel works tirelessly at building leaders of tomorrow and helps students throughout their collegiate career. They help them grow their talents and their skills. Indiana University is nestled in a quaint town with shops and ethnic foods. In the spring, you can find flowers at every doorstep. In the fall, of course we all know, there are leaves of every color falling from the trees. Indiana University has a booming student population and the Jewish student population is not far behind it. 
IU has the eighth largest Jewish student population at a public school in the nation. This is why we need your support. On our site, CampusSuperstar2020.com, you can find a one-of-a-kind silent auction. We have unique items that you can get gifts for yourself, for your friends, or your family. Join in on the fun and help support our students. My name is Jason Adelstein, and I am a rising junior at Indiana University studying vocal performance. And I will be singing Corner of the Sky from Pippin. Everything has its season, everything has its time. Show me a reason, and I'll soon show you a rhyme. Cats fit on the windowsill, children fit in the snow. Why do I feel I don't fit in anywhere I go? Rivers belong where they can ramble. Eagles belong where they can fly. I've got to be where my spirit can run free. Something small, but I won't rest until I know I've had it all. So don't ask where I'm going, just listen when I'm gone. And far away, you'll hear me singing softly to the dawn. Rivers belong where they can ramble, eagles belong where they can fly. My name is Madison Michael and I'm from New Carlisle, Indiana. I go to Indiana University Bloomington and I will be graduating this May. The song I will be singing is Always Remember Us This Way from A Star Is Born. That Arizona sky burning in your eyes You look at me and babe I want to catch on fire It's buried in my soul like California gold You found the light in me that I couldn't find So when I'm all choked up But I can't find the words Every time we say goodbye Baby, it hurts When the sun
Can you believe the talent that these students have? You know, they are the reason why the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center exists. IU Hillel works tirelessly at building leaders of tomorrow and helps students throughout their collegiate career. They help them grow their talents and their skills. Indiana University is nestled in a quaint town with shops and ethnic foods in the spring. You can find flowers at every doorstep in the fall. Of course, we all know there are leaves of every color falling from the trees. Indiana University has a booming student population and the Jewish student population is not far behind it. IU has the eighth largest Jewish student population at a public school in the nation. This is why we need your support. On our site, campussuperstar2020.com, you can find a one-of-a-kind silent auction. We have unique items that you can get gifts for yourself, for your friends, or your family. Join in on the fun and help support our students. Happy 30 years, Rabbi Sue, the Helene G. Simon Hillel Student Center, and countless students, including myself, would not be where we are today without your support. We love and we miss you, and we can't wait to celebrate with you soon. Hi, everyone. My name is Rebecca Schatz. I'm currently a rabbi in Los Angeles, California and I was one of the original members and the founding director of Hushir. Rabbi Sue, there's so much I could say to wish you Mazal Tov. You've been such a key player in my life as a rabbi, as a friend, as a leader, someone who really showed me what it means to believe in everyone. I know that many people in this room probably know this story, but when I auditioned for Hushir, not knowing that it was going to be Hushir and not really knowing what I was auditioning for, you really believed in me and you asked me to make sure that I could be part of this group. And I didn't know why and quite frankly, I was a little bit nervous that someone wanted me to be part of something so badly because it made me think, oh, well, maybe it's just not good enough and they need people. But really, I came to learn over the course of my years under your wing and being beside you on the Bima at High Holidays and just learning so much from you as a friend and now a colleague, that you just truly believe in students. You really believe in their power to do good. You believe in their ability to change this world. You believe in their strengths even before they might. So I just want to say thank you. And I hope that this next video just shows you a little bit of how much you've really changed and inspired so, so many lives. And thank you so much for telling the White House that we had an acapella group, because if not for that little white lie, we wouldn't all be here to wish you Mazal Tov. Thank you, Rabbi Sue.
Welcome back to Campus Superstar 2020, and thanks for hanging out with us during this commercial break. Wardrobe change, all right, I want you to visit campussuperstar2020.com. Why? Because we have some super cool silent auction items, including that tour of Simon Scott Assembly Hall in Bloomington, and you could even play hoops on the court. How about a safari? How about a $1,000 Simon Mall gift card? Bid on many one-of-a-kind items for family, for friends, or heck, maybe even yourself. Just text CSS2020 to 76278. That's CSS2020 to 76278 to see all these amazing items. All the proceeds of Campus Superstar for support the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center, which is dedicated to building a strong Jewish community on IU's campus and developing tomorrow's leaders. Another essential piece of their mission is to work with partners at Indiana University, their partners and the city of Bloomington to promote diversity and understanding throughout the community. We are pleased to partner with City Church for All Nations and JLTV in production of our final show. And now let's get back to the show. Hack. I'm a junior at Indiana University Bloomington. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm studying elementary education and special education. And I'm going to be singing the song Almost There from the movie The Princess and the Frog. I don't have time for dancing. That's just gonna have to wait a while. Ain't got time for messing around. No, that's not my style. This whole town can slow you down, people taking the easy way. But I know exactly where I'm going, getting closer and closer every day. And I'm almost there, I'm almost there. People down here think I'm crazy, but I don't care. 
I returned home to Indiana University 25 years ago after being a student here to become the Hillel Rabbi. I had a dream and a vision to make the Jewish community on this campus thrive. And thanks to the partnership of students, a dedicated staff, the university community, and many parents, alumni, and friends, we have thrived beyond my wildest dreams. As a student body president of Hillel, I frequently hear from students who have found their best friend at Hillel, who have found their favorite studying spot at Hillel, or just love having a good meal among other Jewish students. There are students that might not come to Hillel and don't wait for Hillel to come to them. Those are the students waiting for Hillel to take them somewhere new. For those students, Hillel offers two birthright trips every year, as well as a service trip to San Francisco over spring break. When I arrived at IU as a freshman, it was really, really overwhelming because there's so much to do and it's a huge campus. But then I came to Hillel and there's 20 different clubs just in Hillel. I'm in the Jewish cooking class and it's really fun to cook with my friends and to learn how to make stuff. And then one day maybe I can make these things that we learned to cook with my own family. They even delivered a Shabbat meal to my fraternity house and all my brothers and I really enjoyed their food along with all the Shabbat meals that they have at Hillel here. It always makes me feel welcome at home and to have a nice home cooked meal. Hillel ensures the Jewish future. It's my JCC, my overnight camp, and my synagogue all rolled into one. Awesome. Pippin. <laughs> I think that song is a sleeper. Uh, I, people forget how, how big it gets at the end. It goes, it gets pretty crazy. Uh, and it doesn't really let up the whole song. And you killed it. Like, I can't wait uh, to someday see you actually in a musical production because you definitely have um, the skill set and the voice to uh, take the stage and, and be in that role. So, um, any role. <laughs> it's a fantastic musical voice. Um, well done. Awesome job. Jason, way to go. Um, it's a, lovely to see a guy here as well. And um, wow, uh, that's a great musical theater voice. It's a great performance. Um, you've got a lovely range and a lovely voice. Uh, I think you did really well with this song. There's a couple of tricky moments in there and you sort of sail past them. Um, I, I was really impressed with your take on that number. And, um, um, you know, you, you had, I, I, you were able to communicate well, your feelings, your passion. Um, I think you did a great job on, on that song. So thank you for that. Hey Madison, excellent job. Really, really beautiful work. Um, just just uh, because we're doing it in this format, I thought you did an excellent job of self-taping. It was beautifully framed, you looked incredible, um, and you sounded amazing. Uh, it's a great song for you. I think that you really connected to the material. I think that your voice sounded excellent. Um, and I really thought that was an outstanding job. So bravo. Okay. Wow. Okay, everybody stop right there. Just stop for a second. Remember this name, Madison Michael. This woman, this was incredible. I mean, look, Madison, when we're casting things, what we're looking for is people with poise, power, presence in their performance, and you had it all. You nailed it, you did an incredible job. Um, that was really an exceptional piece. You chose something that really showed off your voice, your range, you connected with us as an audience. I could feel what you were feeling. It was amazing. Congratulations, great job. Layla, thank you. We um, love a peppy song. It's a really, really, it's a really good song choice. Um, I love, uh, I love your punchy presentation and your real personality, the energy you bring to this. Um, your voice has got a really kind of cool, 
War I'm gonna put that stuff right there. It's, your voice has a real kind of warmth in the bottom, and as you go up into your middle voice, it widens out a little bit. Um, so you might want to keep an eye on that. That's just a vocal thing. I don't think it's terribly distracting. You know, you sing the words almost there. Um, I don't know about a hundred times. So if there, there are places where you can punch that, well, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Just to kind of break that up because it does get to be kind of the same thing and. And you want to, I think, reach into the bag of tricks there a little bit more. I really uh, appreciate, also you have to sing right out of the blocks. I mean, it's like the song starts and off you go. Uh, I love the verse, and I thought it was a really, really good performance. It's a shame that it's not a live performance here, because I think audiences would really enjoy that. I did. Thank you. I was so scared for a second that last note wasn't gonna happen. I was like, I don't remember if it happens or not. Uh, that's awesome because you showed that you got the pipes at the end for sure. Because um, it's a big, it's a big note. Um, everybody loves Princess and the Frog, right? So great pick, uh, great for your voice and, and just an overall fun performance. Thanks for that. Can you believe the talent that these students have? You know, they are the reason why the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center exists. IU Hillel works tirelessly at building leaders of tomorrow and helps students throughout their collegiate career. They help them grow their talents and their skills. Indiana University is nestled in a quaint town with shops and ethnic foods. In the spring, you can find flowers at every doorstep. In the fall, of course, we all know, there are leaves of every color falling from the trees. Indiana University has a booming student population and the Jewish student population is not far behind it. IU has the eighth largest Jewish student population at a public school in the nation. This is why we need your support. On our site, campussuperstar2020.com, you can find a one-of-a-kind silent auction we have unique items that you can get gifts for yourself, for your friends, or your family. Join in on the fun and help support our students. Raven Curry. I'm a junior here at Indiana University studying international studies and music and today I will be singing One to You by Whitney Houston. Each day, each day I play the role of someone always in control but at night I come home and turn the key. There's nobody there. No one cares for me. Oh, where's my sense? I'm trying hard to find a dream without someone to share it with. Tell me what does it mean? I wanna run to you. Won't you hold me in your arms and keep me safe from harm? I want to run to you. But if I come to you, ooh, tell me, will you stay or will you run away?
Hillel is a place that you could come to whenever you want, where you feel like you're at home. The staff don't feel like staff, they feel like family members and friends. I think over you know my four years starting as a freshman to a senior, you go through a lot of changes. I think one thing that's always remained the same and steady is Hillel. Everyone is so open and everyone is so eager to have new people here. And it's just very welcoming. You never come into the building and feel uncomfortable and like you don't belong. Being so far away from home, it's scary not knowing anyone. I only came into school with two people that I knew. So having people to feel like as if they've known you their whole life treat you like that when they literally don't know anything about you was very comforting. We are training the Jewish leaders of tomorrow. We have hundreds and hundreds of students from the past 30 years that I've been here who have gone on to become rabbis, cantors, Jewish educators, leaders in the Jewish community, lay leaders in the Jewish community because this is the place where they chart their Jewish future. IU Hillel is very important because we receive these students when they're freshmen everything's new to them and they go through this transformative experience through college and we're here to support them and to help them and guide them. This current building, the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center, when it was first built, it was everything we could possibly dream of and imagine. It's given us a place, a home for our Jewish students and to really lay the foundation for this huge Jewish community that we have now. If we hadn't had the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center, we would not be where we are today. I am so eternally grateful to Fred Simon and the Simon family to go from being a campus where there was very little Jewish life to being one of the strongest Jewish campuses in the entire United States. We're at a crossroads now where if we don't move forward and build a new building, we're going to be unable to grow and we won't be able to move into the next generation of Jewish students. We can't hold everyone that we have at dinner in our dining hall. We have to set up our living room, we have to set up even the sanctuary and our chapel for our biggest Shabbat dinners, and it becomes kind of chaotic. It really affects our retention rate with our students that come to Shabbat. Our first week of programming, we get over 300 students here in the building for one program at a time. This year alone, we had over 700 students come through the building in the first week. And I think a lot of students get intimidated by so many people in so many different spaces. And having one united space where everyone could be eating together, a space that could hold 200 plus people for a meal, that would be, it'd be unifying. Our Jewish students are craving a place to explore their Jewish identity even further. Our new Hillel Center is going to take us into the 21st century in terms of the technology and what we have to offer in a new, exciting, up-to-date, modern building and home. I am also so grateful to the Mervis family for coming forward and making the dream of a new building possible with their lead gift. Without them, we wouldn't be able to move into this new building where we're going to have kosher dining for hundreds of students, where we're going to have program space to do all the things that we want to do. It's very important that our students learn about what an important place Israel holds in the heart and minds of the Jewish people. We're going to have an Israel program center. We're going to have a place for students who are in the Jewish Greek community here to explore their identity. We're going to be teaching numerous classes in the new building and just to round everything out we're going to have a sports grill where students can come and watch their favorite sporting events and um, be able to meet other Jewish students while they do so. We here at Alala a big thing is spread love. This is a place where you can come be yourself and be with people that love and care about you. By giving to this building, you are investing in the Jewish future at IU.
Welcome back to Campus Superstar 2020, and thanks for hanging out with us during this commercial break. Wardrobe change? All right, I want you to visit CampusSuperstar2020.com. Why? Because we have some super cool silent auction items, including that tour of Simon Scott Assembly Hall in Bloomington, and you could even play hoops on the court. How about a safari? How about a $1,000 Simon Mall gift card? Bid on many one-of-a-kind items for family, for friends, or heck, maybe even yourself. Just text CSS2020 to 76278. That's CSS2020 to 76278 to see all these amazing items. All of the proceeds of Campus Superstar for support the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center, which is dedicated to building a strong Jewish community on IU's campus and developing tomorrow's leaders. Another essential piece of their mission is to work with partners at Indiana University, their partners, and the city of Bloomington to promote diversity and understanding throughout the community. We are pleased to partner with City Church for All Nations and JLTV in production of our final show. And now, let's get back to the show. Sarah Warner. I go to Indiana University Bloomington. I am a junior and I'll be singing Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. Hello, my name is Sarah Cassidy. I'm from Bloomington, Indiana. I'm currently a freshman at Indiana University of Bloomington, and today I'll be singing Waving Through a Window from Dear Evan Hansen.
Welcome back to Campus Superstar 2020, and thanks for hanging out with us during this commercial break. Wardrobe change, or I want you to visit CampusSuperstar2020.com. Why? Because we have some super cool silent auction items, including that tour of Simon Stock Assembly Hall in Bloomington, including the blank boots on the board. How about a safari? How about a thousand dollar Simon Mall gift card? Bid on many one-of-a-kind items for family, for friends, for help, even yourself. Just text CSS2020 to 76278. That's CSS2020 to 76278 to see all these amazing items. All the proceeds of Campus Superstar for support the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center which is dedicated to building a strong Jewish community on IU's campus and developing tomorrow's leaders. Another essential piece of their mission is to work with partners at Indiana University, their partners, and the city of Bloomington to promote diversity and understanding throughout the community. We are pleased to partner with City Church for All Nations and JLTV in production of our final show. And now, Let's get back to the show. All right, men, anybody who wants to uh, cover Whitney Houston has my respect because it is a very um, gutsy, hard thing to do. And you just did a fantastic job. That song doesn't let up and it goes in so many different places in your vo vocal area, your range. Um, a lot of falsetto control and a lot of chest voice control. So. Um, great job. Very, uh, very hard to do. And you still performed. Like, I'd love to hear you sing that in actual space sometimes. So hopefully I get a chance to do that again. Um, awesome job. Wow. Well, uh, okay. I don't know what I was getting myself into tonight. Um, Raven, that was incredible. Um, there is so much talent here. This and and seeing you sing that song, you were in it. You were in the moment. I could see the expressiveness. I could hear your voice. You were right there. It was a great song for you. It really showed off your impressive range. Um, just the way you were playing with the with the vocal track and and you know, just those flourishes. It was a really remarkable. Um, I love listening to you sing. I want to hear it again. It was great. Um, a lot of fun and a huge amount of talent. So thank you. Wow. <laughs> um, Sarah, that was great. I love your flourishes. Um, you took a few minutes to really sort of a few seconds to really get into the song, but when you found it, when you found those moments where you let yourself go, I was really impressed. I mean, when you hit those notes, you went all in, you got it. You nailed it. I liked it. I don't want to see more of that. That was really great. Good work. Good song choice, too. So, Sarah, thank you. Interesting choice. Um, um, there's, there are a lot of things I like about it. I thought that the distance and, frankly, the, uh, the uh, verticality of the, the, t the recording thing, instead of it being um, in landscape, it was in portrait. I, I would have liked to have been a little closer to you. Um, I like your voice very much. I think you make really good choices. You do some really in cool musical things where you go over the bar and then into that kind of melismatic stuff. I think it's very, very good. Um, your voice disappears a little bit in the lower register. Part of that is because we're recording and I think we would have benefited from a, a live performance. Of course, everyone would benefit from live performance, but I. Uh, I, I really do like it. I think it's a curious choice. It's kind of coffee house um, style. And, and I'm kind of sorry about the finish because you didn't really get to finish the piece for me. I'd love to know more about you, but you certainly sing very nicely and I think you handled that sort of it, trying not to be like Elton or trying not for it to be a karaoke version. So well done. Hey Sarah, excellent job. Really, really nice work. I really loved that you um, played the guitar in the video so you can show us that you can sing and play instruments, which is an awesome thing. Uh, I thought your vocals were excellent. I thought your connection was really nice to the material. I think that's the first time I've ever heard a woman sing the song. So I really enjoyed that and I really enjoyed your performance. So thank you. 
Well, Sarah, thank you. I, I jotted down a couple things here. First of all, um, it's a song actually that I've I've never heard a woman sing it before, and you handle it really, really well. Um, it, when when a male sings it or a tenor sings it, it is um, it kind of takes them to the edge, and so there's a different kind of emotional kind of uh, wailing almost. Uh, that's not a bad thing. Um, you handle it so neatly in your voice because your range is so even. You're a, you're a very very strong singer. The other thing I like is that the balance between your record your vocal recording in the on the track or tracks as it were um, is really nicely balanced even though you're in that kind of intimate small space and the other thing is you set it up beautifully with that guitar lick at the beginning. I really enjoyed the performance. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to Campus Superstar 2020 virtually. In just a few moments, we'll learn who the judges have chosen for their top five. And afterwards, we'll tell you how you can vote for your number one campus superstar. Before that happens, we invite you to log on to our site, campussuperstar2020.com. You can learn more about the contestants, view our exciting silent auction, bid on one-of-a-kind items, gifts for you, gifts for your family, your friends, or donate to Hillel. Hillel promotes diversity on college campuses and helps combat anti-Semitism and fosters a pro-Israel environment. The proceeds of Campus Superstar support the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center, which is dedicated to building a strong Jewish community on Indiana University's campus and developing the leaders of tomorrow. Please head on over to CampusSuperstar2020.com to learn more. Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Raphael Dwayne Ishman, also known as Felly the Voice, but my friends and family and you guys can call me Felly. Um, I went to Indiana University and I won Campus Superstar in 2010. Very appreciative of Campus Superstar and uh, being able to win that scholarship money uh, really helped me survive the summer that year and uh, I ended up auditioning for American Idol. Campus Superstar definitely gave me that confidence to be able to audition. While the American Idol audition didn't go as well as Campus Superstar, I ended up making it to the Hollywood rounds, but I got eliminated. That kind of got me in the mode of being a songwriter, and that's still what I do to this day. Um, I moved to Atlanta, and I'm currently working on projects for Chris Brown. I've written for Chris Brown as well. Also, uh, Queen Naja, K. Michelle. I work with Interscope Records, Atlantic Records, Capitol Records, Epic Records, and a few other companies. Um, I'm on the verge of signing my first six-figure publishing deal, so wish me good luck on that. I'll give you guys a little insight uh, when it is inked and ready. Um, but I just appreciate what Campus Superstar taught me as far as, you know, being a, a craftsman, as far as my, uh, my gift and my talents and uh, being able to use that to help not only myself, but other people. And um, I just want to say congratulations to Rabbi Sue. Uh, doing work within the community is not an easy task. And um, I appreciate what you've done, not only for me, but for some of my friends and some of the great musicians that are coming out of the Indiana area. And um, can't say thank you enough, but thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brooke Wood. I went to Indiana University. Uh, I graduated in 2013 but I had the honor and privilege of winning Campus Superstar in 2012, which seems like a lifetime ago, but also seems like it was just yesterday. <laughs> um, I had auditioned the previous year and made it onto the show and then didn't make it all the way through. I think that's the year that my friend Troy won. Uh, shout out to Troy because he deserved it. He was amazing. It's great to reminisce about this. I haven't thought about that experience in a long time. and. Uh, I remember it so vividly. I remember getting that huge check and my dad storming the stage, taking the microphone and saying, that's my daughter, or something like that. 
think it's on video. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, but what a great memory and what a great opportunity to give to students to showcase their talents, build some confidence, have a little extra money in the bank for when they graduate, invest it, save it, put it into the future, which is what I did. And it's just been awesome. It gave me this sense of, I can do it kind of, I guess I was moving to New York shortly after that. So it just kind of put me in the right mindset to just kind of go for it. And since then I have been blessed and grateful to be working as a professional singer. I recently made my debut with the Philly Pop Symphony Orchestra right before uh, all the madness in the world. Um, it was the last time I was on stage. It was pretty awesome. It was a Phil Collins Genesis show um, with a 65 piece symphony orchestra. Uh, unbelievable. And then right before that, I uh, was in Barbados doing this awesome benefit concert for their local hospital there, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Um, and I've worked on cruise ships as a singer. I've been touring for the past three years with a show called 50 Years of Rock and Roll all over the States. And yeah, I mean, my career has kind of taken off and uh, it's been great. And I have to chalk some of that up to to winning Campus Superstar because man, did that give me a confidence boost that I needed. And uh, I'm. it's just awesome that this has been around for 16 years and I hope and pray that it'll continue to be around for the next 16 years to come. And congrats to you, Rabbi Sue, for 30 years of work. We love you, we appreciate you, and uh, couldn't do any of this without you. Um, I'm a proud IU grad, proud Hoosier, and I just think that giving students this opportunity is absolutely amazing. And I thank you for the opportunity to have won. <laughs> and I hope everyone is staying well and safe. And all we can do is heal through music because music does heal. So I wish you all the best. Bye. Hello, my name is Terika Marie and I am the 2019 Campus Superstar winner. I am truly honored to be a part of this wonderful legacy. I am an alumni now of Ball State University, Chirp Chirp. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you so much to Campus Superstar, to Troy and the Hillel Center for giving me that wonderful opportunity. Because for me, that was a pivotal moment in my college career. I got to meet wonderful people and experience a wonderful rehearsal environment and performance environment. It truly made me feel like a star, as it should. And um, I feel as a musical theater major, it truly allowed me to exercise and practice the things that I was doing at school and put it into practice in front of both family, friends, and people I had never met before. Um, I think the most fun that I've ever had with this whole process, it was my second year doing it th uh, that year, um, and it was just being able to bond with wonderful people and wonderful artists who were creative and doing the same thing that I love to do. And the, we encouraged each other every, every step of the way. So I enjoyed that the most. And of course you get the, the startup butterflies and, and then the show happens. And when I found out that I won, it was a surreal moment. And I was beyond grateful because it was nothing but God that brought me to that moment and the support of my friend, friends and family. So that was wonderful. And winning that money was a really wonderful opportunity, not only for me, but for my family. I found ways to use that money for helping my mom start her master's degree, put some things in my savings, helped my sister with her college degree. So it was like a moment for me to realize, thank you God for giving me my blessing. And then also finding ways to bless other people was truly an amazing opportunity for me. Campus Superstar is amazing. I think the people who have started this program for college students like me and make it possible. So thank you. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Campus Superstar 2020 virtually. In just a few moments, we'll learn who the judges have chosen for their top five. And afterwards, we'll tell you how you can vote for your number one campus superstar. Before that happens, we invite you to log on to our site, 
Campus Superstar 2020.com. You can learn more about the contestants, view our exciting silent auction, bid on one of a kind items, gifts for you, gifts for your family, your friends, or donate to Hillel. Hillel promotes diversity on college campuses and helps combat anti-Semitism and fosters a pro-Israel environment. The proceeds of Campus Superstar support the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center, which is dedicated to building a strong Jewish community on Indiana University's campus and developing the leaders of tomorrow. Please head on over to CampusSuperstar2020.com to learn more. Hello, Rabbi Sue, and congratulations and mazel tov to wonderful 30 years of service to the Indiana Jewish community. We're all so proud of you and thankful for your engagement of all types of Jews and non-Jews in the community. And just want to say thanks to making the Indiana experience a special thing. Rabbi Sue, thank you for always believing in me and supporting me as a young leader. You pushed me toward and helped me gain access to countless meaningful leadership opportunities, and today I still benefit from what I learned. Mazel Tov Sue, thank you for giving me the opportunity to grow as a Jewish professional. Rabbi Sue, thank you so much for 30 years of work, for making our IU Hillel so strong. I love that I was a part of the students that got to hire you and that now I get to call you colleague. Thank you for everything. Hey Sue, I just wanted to say congratulations on your 30th anniversary as being executive director of Hillel. Mazel tov Sue, on dedicating your life to this institution, the students and to helping us all uh, be able to actually create and give to each other. To each other. Sue, I've had a bird's eye view to your devotion and commitment over the past years to Hillel. And I've had the privilege to witness and appreciate the strong relationships you have developed with students, alumni, parents, friends, and lay leaders of Hillel. Congratulations on this landmark. Love you so much. Congratulations on 30 years at Hillel. We're all so proud of you. It's amazing how committed you've been to your job over all of these years. Your students are so lucky to have you and everyone who meets you is deeply impacted. We love you. We love you. Mazel tov, Sue. Thank you so much for bringing me to the Indiana University Hillel community. I have a lot of love for you. Thank you. Rabbi Sue, thank you for everything you've done. For Hillel, for IU, for Bloomington, for the Jewish community, and for me. I am forever grateful for the impact you and working for IU Hillel has had on my life. Thank you. Mazel tov, Rabbi Sue. Congratulations on 30 years at Hillel, and thank you for everything you've done for the student here. Mazel tov, Sue, thank you for your leadership. Rabbi Sue, thank you for always being there for my family. You are a blessing to everyone that has known you. May you go from strength to strength. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Sue, for being this wonderful home for the last 30 years for all the students. Mazel tov, Sue. Thanks for welcoming into the IU Jewish family. I'm really happy to be a part of it and can't wait for more. Congratulations, Sue, on 30 years at Hillel. So glad I was there on day one. 
proud I was there to work with you to help build Hillel and thrilled to see how it's grown today. Here's to the next 30 years. Mazel tov, Rabbi Sue. I'm 30 years at Indiana Hillel. Thank you so much for helping to shape me into the Jewish professional I am today. I will forever be grateful for your friendship and your guidance. Mazel tov, Rabbi Sue. It's been such an honor being both a student and an employee working with you. Rabbi Sue, thank you for your endless support and for creating such a warm and welcoming environment at Hillel that truly makes it feel like a second home. Mazel tov, I love you very much for giving me the opportunity to work here. This place is like my home. Mazel tov, Sue. We are so happy to be celebrating with you and celebrating you for your 30 years. Um, of commitment to Hillel and we just are so grateful to be part of your vision and continuing on and wish you the very best for the next 30. So, Mazel Happy anniversary, Sue. What a blessing to know you. I'm Rabbi Sue Silverberg. Thank you so much to everyone who put this incredible show together, and especially to Troy T. Thomas Jr. and Mason Greenberg and Alana Huvard for everything that you've done. I am so thankful for the past 30 years at IU Hillel. There's the old saying that if you love what you do, then you'll never work a day in your life. And that is exactly how I feel about my past 30 years at IU Hillel. My life has been so special and so meaningful because of the friendships and relationships that I've had at Hillel. Thank you for all of the videos, to the staff, the students, the friends, and the partners who made the past 30 years possible. I am truly overwhelmed with gratitude. Hillel has gone from a small program of less than 500 students in a decrepit old building when I began my first day on August the 1st 1989 to the thriving Jewish community and home to the eighth largest Jewish student population in the country that IU Hillel is today. And it wouldn't have been possible without all of you, without so many generous donors, many of whom are, are watching us today. And a very special thank you to my wonderful family who's always been there for me. My incredible husband, who's been my partner at Hillel and my partner in life for the past 10 years, my wonderful children who've grown up at Hillel, and to my parents and the rest of my family. So again, thank you so much to everyone. And now I guess it's time to get back to the show. There's no doubt that Campus Superstar is one for the books. Who knew I would be announcing the top five winners looking into a camera screen instead of the eyes of a live audience? I never would have guessed it, but I think this is actually made for an even better show. Now, before re revealing the top five, I'm gonna let the suspense build just a little bit longer because I wanna take a moment to highlight another essential piece of our mission that is to work with our partners at Indiana University and the city of Bloomington to promote diversity and understanding throughout the community. We are pleased to be partners with the City Church for All Nations and a special thank you to Dan Lakin and JLTV Network for helping with the production of this show. A huge thank you to Laura Steele, who's been our MC for so many years, to our judges, Stephen Stolen, Michael Blatt, Jen Christie, and David Galpern, and to all of our contestants and all of our sponsors who've made this show possible. Our sponsors are listed on CampusSuperstar2020.com. And now for the grand reveal, the top five contestants in alphabetical order for Campus Superstar 2020 are Lila Abdelha, Raven Curry, Aaliyah Hyde, Madison Michael, and Courtney 
prouder. Congratulations to our top five contestants. One of you is going to be crowned Campus Superstar 2020 in just one week. Okay, viewers, now comes the fun part. We need you to cast your vote today and anytime before 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, May the 20th. Your vote, along with the votes of the judges, is going to determine who will be the grand prize winner and become Campus Superstar 2020. Go to campussuperstar2020.com to vote. You can also re-watch the videos of our top five contestants there. And while you're on our site, don't forget about the ongoing silent auction. You can bid until next Sunday, May 24th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when we announce this year's Campus Super Superstar winner. Some of the featured items include a guided tour of Simon Scott Assembly Hall for 10 people that ends with getting to shoot hoops on the court, a six day, six night Afri African safari for two, an autographed National Lampoon's Animal House script, a film industry consultation with producer Robert Levy, where you can talk about the film industry or a specific pro project. He was the producer of Wedding Crashers, Serendipity, Wedding Planner, National Lampoon's Van Wilder, Pay It Forward, and all of the Mary Kate and Ashley films. A consultation with JLTV about the production of a 30 minute television show that will then be broadcast on JLTV upon delivery, and $1,500 worth of Simon Mall gift cards. And there's so much more on the site. Your support means the world to us and impacts every candidate in this competition and every Jewish student at Indiana University. Thank you so much for your support. My name is Michael Murtis. I have the honor of being the president of the Helene G. Simon Hillel Center at Indiana University. To our participants in the 2020 Campus Superstar, congratulations on outstanding performances and best wishes. And to our Campus Superstar Committee, who have worked through phenomenal challenges this year. Thank you for your exceptional efforts to make this event possible. Rabbi Sue, at IU Hillel, you have created not just a welcoming home away from home for Jewish students, but an atmosphere of support, curiosity, scholarship, and inclusiveness. To IU and the greater Bloomington community, you have been a strong voice of religious, intellectual, and social tolerance and acceptance, and a defender of that which you believe to be morally correct. Thank you for all you have done for Hillel and for the influence you have had over tens of thousands of students at Indiana University. The winner of $5,000 and the Campus Superstar 2020 title will be announced one week from today, Sunday, May 24th, right here, JLTV, Facebook Live, YouTube, and at CampusSuperstar2020.com. Go vote. Tell all your friends and family to vote over the next week for the Campus Superstar winner for 2020. We'll see you right here in just one week. Good night, everyone. Be safe.